in our country, we have around 70 to 70. 70 to 80 percent of women who give birth in Malaysia actually will have a, a natural birth or a vaginal birth and of course one of the complications or side effects of natural birth is prolapse now first of all you need to know everybody gives birth right you look at all the mothers who give birth everybody gives birth but not everybody get prolapse then why some people get prolapse some people don't so there are certain reasons to it okay first we talk about risk factors risk factors is the elasticity of the tissue you see how much can can we pull your skin and your muscle before it tears the elasticity so elasticity is something very individual and we say that it's very in a way uh, very much um, hereditary so uh, if you have some if you come from a family with many 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 prolapse then then you know you are at high risk of prolapse so this is something you need to ask back in your home you know your sister your mother your grandmother anybody with prolapse of course with the more births, it uh, tends to have more prolapse. Why? Because, first of all, if your muscle already torn, and we know one thing, every time you give the same uh, force to the same area, that place will tear again. Okay, let's say my muscle tear in my first baby, but maybe I recovered, the, the, the wound actually recovered, then it may not prolapse, but I give it again, then I give it again, and then every time you give birth, then it's just going to keep uh, tearing up. So, that is why you uh, have more uh, prolapse with women with more children. So most of the time, it happens only when they are in their forties. Forties is when it start to happen. We see more and more people getting prolapse as they grow older. So first is in the forties, many women will start to feel a bit. Then in their fifties, you see more women feeling it, and sixties more. And those who feel forty in their fifties, you find it's more prolapse. Sixties is more prolapse. What do you mean by more prolapse? More prolapse. Most of the time, you don't know what. Uh, I have to scan. We have such a thing called perineal scan. If you do a perineal ultrasound scan, you can measure the distance of your uterus to the outlet. Okay, so let's say that is one. You can measure. That is how you know. And number two, as you um, prolapse more and more, as it comes out, you will start to feel. The initial part now is when you go to the toilet, you feel something come up. You can feel your uterus every time you squat or you go to the toilet. But when you get up, it goes back in. That will be the moderate type. Lah. And then as it gets worse, then it comes out when you go to the toilet, then you have to quickly go lie down on the bed. And then after that, you wait for the uterus to go back up, then you can come up and walk. And that is as it worsen. And then third, thirdly, as it worsen further, it will come out, it will not go in so easily anymore. You have to purposely push it back in. And the worst case scenario is when it comes out and there's no way you can get it in, that is the last. So we have first degree prolapse, second degree prolapse, third degree prolapse, fourth degree prolapse. Okay. Prevention will be when you're pregnant, please do perineal massage. If you know there's such a thing, there's such a thing called perineal massage before birth, where we put our fingers in and we massage. Basically, we are trying to stretch the opening. So if you stretch the opening, that is more elastic. It's more elastic. So it can open, stretch out, so it can open bigger. So when the baby comes out, it doesn't tear so easily. But most importantly, most importantly, it's still the way you birth. Way you birth. Number one. Take up travel classes so that you know how to give birth easily. Okay, we want easy birth. When you have easy birth, then your chances of prolapse will be less. So that is the first thing. The other thing is the size of your baby. Don't give birth 4 kilo. That's why for those mothers who follow me in my clinic, you see I take care of your weight. I take care of your baby's weight. Because if you have a big, big baby, then this is something that is at risk to happen. What are the things we can do? back to Kegel exercise. You can't really learn Kegel in YouTube because I can tell you what to do, but are you activating the right muscle? And are you activating it strong enough? The strength one, whether it's you have reached level one, level two, level three, level four, you know, how strong have your muscle achieved? And all these things is very hard for you to assess. That's why Kegel exercise need to learn from professionals. Who are the professionals who teach Kegel exercise? They are physiotherapists, who specialize in women's health. Okay, so when you don't know where to find one, I have one in my clinic. So if you are my regular patients, then you can always just make an appointment to see my physiotherapist. If you have not been doing Kegel all your life, then to start doing Kegel at a very, very late age is sometimes going to be difficult. Some people, they can do Kegel when they were younger. When they grow older, it's just difficult. It's also because prolapse worsen with age. That is the key word, worsen with age. So if Kegel fails, they will opt for surgery. And for prolapse surgery, there's tons of prolapse surgery out there. So many. Partly it's because uh, we do not have a simple surgery that solves all problems. So for prolapse surgery, there are three types of surgery. One is we push the uterus up. One is pull up. And third, we close the hole. 
settle once and for all. But you only sacrifice one thing, no more sexual intercourse. Not a problem to a lot of very, very old ladies. Closing the hole is something I do usually to very, very old ladies. But if you are younger, then you have an option between push and pull. Many people like push is because I do the surgery from below. So it always looks like a much simpler surgery, less complication. True, true. But we know that pushing up doesn't last forever because as I mentioned, prolapse worsen with age. I push it now, maybe five to 10 years, it come out again. So then you're gonna do another surgery. So the other surgery that is more ideal, that is permanent is pull up. Pull up, it is a much bigger surgery because now we need to go in through the tummy. But good news is nowadays we seldom do big surgery. We do keyhole surgery, lo. just two, three small holes in your tummy. I go inside, I pull up the whole uterus and stitch it to somewhere else higher up so that it has no way to go down again. So this is how we solve the, uh, the prolapse by doing surgery. Other than surgery, there is actually something you can wear inside your vagina. You wear inside your vagina to push the uterus up. Uh, medically, we have something. We have these uh, plastics that you can actually wear and uh, push the whole uterus out. But the only disadvantage is you need to wear for the rest of your life, isn't it? So it's going to get dirty. And as you grow older, every time you take out, take in also, it can bleed, it can hurt. Although it is no surgery, lah, but it is not going to be so uh, convenient. In fact, to me, I'm not a strong supporter of that. It's because I know you can do it when you're 50 and 60. But when you're 70 and 80, who's going to take it out, put it in, clean it, you know? So it can be quite troublesome. Wearing this ring pessary, we call it ring pessary, is effective but may not be practical for the rest of your life so it's better do a surgery when young this is my advice you know you have prolapse you better do it when you're young and fit okay so if you're younger it's better to do a surgery that pull up number one it is permanent number two you can still have intercourse no issue but if you're older and if you're already like 70 80 with multiple problems with multiple health issue and you worry about surgery then you just close up the hole lah. no more sexual intercourse but this problem solved once and for all because once closed there will be no more prolapse already